Hey, 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 everyone, Razbowski here, and welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's 4 information and speculation video. Today, once again, I am joined by the beautiful Doggo. What's going on, guys? I hope you are fantastic today. Today, everybody, we're going to be talking about Plush Trap and the significance he has in the trailer. A lot of focus is put on this little guy, and myself and Doggo have got some very interesting speculations and theories towards his significance in the brand new game. So we're just going to start off straight away with he doesn't look like the rest of the nightmare animatronics if we have a close look at him we will see that he hasn't got the big ass teeth like mm -hmm. the rest of the animatronics he's obviously a tiny slightly cuter version yeah. but he seems to work in a different way it's like he's separated from them. yes because if you've got the freddles as well yes they are smaller yes but they have got big teeth as well they yeah. shift very quickly very nightmarish scurrying under the bed as they do uh, as they're seen in the trailer and that kind of goes hand in hand with monsters under your bed this guy is sitting separately in a solitary room just looking at you yeah um, also as well that this plush trap has four fingers, mm. by now uh, the other Nightmare animatronics have, has five fingers, so again it's just a little comparison that this guy seems to be definitely separate than the other animatronics. And it, and it begs the question is, uh, is he somehow influencing these hallucinations or these nightmares into the kids? Because if he is the only one that's potentially real, then yes. is he somehow, has he got some sort of a phantom connection? Is he somehow making the child or the person we play as in the game hallucinate or have these vivid nightmares or these lucid dreams in which they are getting haunted? Which kind of ties quite nicely into Springtrap from Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Yeah. Yeah, because Plus Trap is the very symbolic to Spring Trap in Five Nights at Freddy's 3. And we know in Five Nights at Freddy's 3 that everything was hallucinations apart from Spring Trap. And the interesting thing with that, folks, is that Night 1 is very, very important. Because Night 1 in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, absolutely yeah. nothing happens. Mm -hmm. But as soon as the terrible package comes, Spring yeah. Trap, all of it starts to happen. You get the hallucinations, you're going to die, that's it. Spring Trap has caused all the chaos at Fazbear's Fright. So when me and Doc have been talking about the significance of Plush Trap, and obviously he is just a toy version of, or that we know from the name, he is just a toy version of Spring Trap. So does he have the same sort of, I don't know, nightmarish powers to create these hallucinations? We'll find out in the game, but it's very, very interesting to know how different he is from the rest of the guys we've seen. Yeah, and again, how I've hinted that it's a package, it's uh, Plush Trap on the teaser, Terrible things come in small packages. It mm. seems that that quote was focused on plush trap. Yep, and uh, well, he's, he's small. He, he, he yep. could potentially be terrible. Yeah, and and it just it ties in hand in hand with the trailer, which was um, what have you brought home? What have you brought home with you? Are you a kid that's that's, that's been at one of the Freddy Fazbear pizzerias and he's brought home this haunted um, doll, this haunted figure that's that's some kind of throwing some curse around the house mm -hmm. and creating all these nightmarish scenarios? So again, those words seem to point to the words the the plush trap because terrible things come in small packages. Plus, what have you brought home? They both seem to fit perfectly with a plush trap. Yeah, exactly. Um, it could be to do with the auction as well. Still, yes, we still got yes. the auction theory. Possibly Definitely. that uh, this this per, this uh, plush trap was brought home by the auction. And um, it could have come from Fred Bear's diner, or yeah, at least yeah. one of the early diners when we saw Spring exactly. or well, Spring Trap. Spring Bonnie and uh, either Golden Freddy or Spring Freddy. Yeah. There's no confirmation on his name yet, but we've seen the merchandise for the rest of the games. This could be the merchandise from one of the early locations. Yeah. Uh, Raz said earlier as well how Plush Trap seems to be separated from the animatronics. Um, mm. The mechanics different as well. If you look at the trailer, yes. it seems to uh, seems to me and Raz and everybody else. If you look at the top right, it's completely different to the time it's actually a countdown to something there's loads of different theories on what this game mechanic could be but it's just to show that this is completely different than just surviving the night uh, yeah. by the time so yes yeah. it's, it's, it's separate it's a special mechanic for special, him. We, haven't, yeah. we haven't seen this mechanic yet in any of the games he's also in a different location yeah, exactly which again signifies how important he could possibly be mm -hmm. you've got four different doors you got four different options you have got him jumping back up into the chair it just shows 
he functions differently from the rest and why is that why is yeah. so much attention being focused on this plush track exactly um that goes well with five nights at freddy's too uh, the puppet had a very special mechanic yes. and now we've learned that the puppet is very important with the story um again with five nights at freddy's one the mechanic of foxy and um, he's he's very important as well it just shows that um, it seems like if they've got a very special mechanic they are very special as well yeah, definitely, definitely. But there we go, guys. There is our thoughts and theories on Plush Trap and his significance within the game and the overall story. Scott seems to be focusing a lot of attention on this guy, whether it's to do with the Purple Man, whether it's to do with he's influencing all these uh, nightmares and the rest of the nightmare animatronics is soon to be seen. But we are absolutely hyped. If you did enjoy today's video, then please hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any theories of your own about this little guy or anything else FNAF related, then pop it down. Down in the comment section below. Yep, if you're from my channel, folks, Raz's link will be in the description below. He's a fantastic guy, lots of FNAF theories, and lots of other Let's Plays as well. Oh, bless, yeah. And if you're on the <laughs> same, uh, if you're on my channel, then head over to uh, Docos as well, because he does many, many wonderful games, including a Don't Starve series, in which we both are actually uh, co op and which is really good fun. Yeah. Yeah. All right, then, guys. Hope you have a good day. We love you. Take care, folks.